What's up, guys? It's Mike Frank with Berkshire Hathaway, Frank Oliver and Company, coming to you again today. Talk a little bit about ways that you could sell your home high in today's crazy hot market. Before I do, a couple things happening. If you don't know, we have a home buyer event coming up at Bar Cocina down in Fells Point on August 18th at 6 p.m. So if it's something you're interested in, of course, reach out to us, PM, DM, or subscribe to our link below and make sure you reach out to us and let us know if you have interest. We could send you a link to that Eventbrite page. Otherwise, we're going to be posting a lot of content in the next couple of weeks talking about different ways that we can help you buy in a crazy market. But today, we're going to talk a little bit about selling your home. And there were a lot of notes. You guys might not be able to see, but a lot of notes on this information. And so basically, we broke it down into seven or eight little pieces of information. The first piece was cut your budget, right? Take what you're going to net out of the sale of your home and cut your budget by spending the money on smart investments. Something that a lot of people talk about is where should I spend or, oh, I'm going to do my windows before I sell my house. Well, maybe we should spend our money on a better utilized spend, right? So we're going to take that money and we're going to put it into maybe some new floors or painting the home instead of doing windows, which are very superficial. We want to create an opportunity to maximize our home by staging and creating renovations that work. Something where you're going to get the maximum investment back, right? When we're talking about selling high, it's not always about price. As a matter of fact, that's one of our other things we're going to talk about in a minute, but it's not always about price. It's about maximizing your profit. Number two, we're going to plan our next move before we sell this home. So we're going to have a plan of action in place to create an opportunity to slim down our expenses on our transition. And what we're going to do, we're going to plan our next move. We're going to anticipate the market as we're working together with the buyers in the market so that, again, we can maximize our profit. Because selling high might mean the top dollar to you for your ego and your arrogance and your community. But for me, what it means is putting more money in your bank account. Number three, we're going to strategically price your home. And what we're doing here is we're strategically creating an opportunity to incentivize buyers in the marketplace. Oftentimes, this will end up with a bidding war or multiple offers. But what we really want to do is we want to find that one offer, that one buyer that finds the value in your home before you have to drop your price, drop your price and drop your price further. By strategically pricing your home, we're going to create an opportunity to net more money, to create more wealth for you and for your family as you continue to move forward. Again, going back to step one and step two, it's about pre preparing yourself to have the highest net equity when you sell this home. Number four, we're going to make the most of this bidding war. Heaven forbid we get two or four or 17 offers like I know you guys have heard about. We're going to make the most of it. We're going to calculate the best deal for you, the seller. It's not always about the highest price. It's not always about the most money. It's about the best deal for you. What are we going to net? How are we going to create the most equity? How are we going to build the most value in the offers that we've had? We want to talk a little bit about the differentiation between different offers in the marketplace and what we could show you is going to be the best fit for you and for your family. Now, number five, again, we've said it before. Remember, the highest offer is not always the best. Heaven forbid we forget closing costs, right? So one $500,000 offer and another $510,000 offer, but that one has $15,000 in closing costs. Well, the $500,000 offer is better. And that's just one way that number is not always the best. The highest number doesn't always win. We want to create opportunity for you guys to see that and demonstrate that to you as we're reviewing offers in a competitive market. Now, remember, there's a lot of things that go into a contract where we're talking about dates and settlement and timeline and contingencies and which buyer is going to get to settlement the fastest and the best and with the most certainty is going to come into play, especially as we talk a little bit more about pricing. Number six, we're going to anticipate issues. This is a big one. I'm going to raise my hand and say, I'm good at this. This is the thing that I take a lot of passion into. Hopefully, we never have any, but when we have issues, I like to anticipate. Recently, I had a conversation with a seller that went something like this. Buyer backed out of the contract. Here's why. Here's the reasoning. Kind of knew that this was an opportunity. If you remember, we talked about this and we anticipated this, which is why we did that, protecting your, in this case, $6,000. And we created a way for our seller to save that money and make sure that we didn't put her into the red $6,000 for a buyer that wasn't going to perform. 
Now, we never like to talk about buyers that won't perform, but ultimately what we are talking about here is how are we going to prevent the seller from spending money, their valuable asset, in the process of selling their home. And we want to make sure that we anticipate that as we continue to move forward in the process, which again comes to number seven, and this comes as no surprise to anybody, but we want to make sure that you hire the right person to sell your home. Hire somebody with the right experience, the right demand in the marketplace, and the person that's going to command the biggest value for you on your biggest asset. Remember, when you're thinking about buying or selling, you should be trusting the person that's representing you. And you want to meet with multiple agents to make sure that you've got the right fit. But if you ever have any questions, you can always reach us, PM, DM, or subscribe to the link below and we have, if you haven't already. And we'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for weekly content. Also, check out our social media pages. The links are in the description below. See you next week.